Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, I want to let you guys know about a bug that's going on with Awakened Belinda. Uh, two main reasons for putting this out there is one, hopefully they can get it fixed or rework her uh, engraving because it's to do with her 60 engraving. And secondly, if you're, I know there's not many people probably just getting Belinda ascended one star E60 right now, but if you're looking at making your priorities and you're seeing her not so well used in Curse Realm and stuff like that, just keep in mind she might be more viable, more people might be laddering with her once this is fixed. So just keep that in mind. So, so take everything about Belinda you see at the moment with a grain of salt. So I'll read this post. I'll go through a Twitter post. Uh, wait, where's the post? Let's get it here. Uh, uh, there it is. Okay, so I'll go through this this Reddit post. I'll go through a Twitter post, uh, and then I'll go ahead and show you in game what we're looking at with comparisons across two different accounts. So this post goes, "Hey folks, if you are early building at the current time, Awaken Belinda's engraving 60 is currently malfunctioning and not replacing the autos with her Champion of the Flame ability properly." This will likely get fixed, so it's your choice to E60 or hold off for the fix. As of the current time, E60 plus may cause a loss of total damage. Just wanted to give you the heads up so you aren't confused if you notice it. Information source from a 33E30 Belinda cap, uh, 4.65 billion for R2 on Cursed Realm uh, versus a 39E60. So that that's even got even is this this one's even got the furniture. And doing uh, 4.4, 4.65 billion. So it looks like the same damage. Tree difference comparison. I mean, this gets confusing. Uh, but I think this summary here gives it a bit better. So comparatively speaking, the 33E30 uh, with 136 mage tree is... Uh, pushing at 0.13 million increase offset in Curse Realm compared to the 39E60 uh, with 172 Mage Tree. So basically, that's just showing you that this one has way less investment. This one has way more investment. And this one appears to be just pushing more damage. So that's what that is. Sorry, it gets confusing trying to read that. So let's lay it out here in this Twitter post, which I'll leave both of these in the description so you can check them out. Um, big shout out to Composites for this one. So if we look here on the left-hand side, so so this is Cursed Realm, same stage of Cursed Realm. Obviously, there are going to be RNG differences. But if we look at the trees, the trees are the same. Over here, the beast is different by three levels. So the left does have three levels more on this beast. It is the defensive beast. I can't remember if he's got any offensive uh, values in there. But hopefully, I don't think that's going to sway it by as much as we're seeing here. But if we look at this Belinda on the left, uh, she is going to be at one star and below 60 engraving. I don't know what exact engraving that is, but it's below 60 because she's only got the orange star. This Belinda, however, has got her 60 engraving and she's at five star. And look at the damage difference. Now, like I said, there is the chance that there is damage variance in RNG of the boss battle, the fight, the stuff, but everything else on the teams is the same, except this Rosaline has more investment as well. But besides that, everything is the same. Yet this Belinda is pulling 3.48 billion and this one's pulling 3.27 billion. That's like close to a 1.2 billion damage it's big it's a big difference so just like i said take everything you see with belinda with a grain of salt because you know these things could be this could be adjusted maybe they rework her signature uh, her engraving completely and it becomes more viable but at the moment, it appears to be bugged. So what I want to do is I want to jump over here into the game and take a look at what we've got going. So uh, that one is that one. Let me just get over to the right instance. Do, 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 that one there. Okay, so let me just, uh, I got two instances on my screen and I'll just bounce between them. So this one is on one of my other accounts that I don't play too much, but uh, you, we're at a very low deficit. It was easy for me to test it. So what I want to do here is just hit play. And then we'll watch it slowly. So what we're waiting for is she needs to get 12 seconds of her buff before she actually gets it. So basically, we need to cycle through pretty much two alts to get there. Um, and then you'll see what she does here. So this is this one is the one that is not E60. So this one is not E60. And I believe we get through it. And I so we do this second alt to reaffirm the buff so that we can get her all the way to the time duration that we need. Um, and you can see here that she's just shooting, then she does the orb, then she'll do a shoot, then she does the orb, oh uh, no, two shoots, then orb. So, orb, and then two shoots, shoot, shoot, and then orb, 
And that's, that's her basic rotation. Two auto attacks and then the orb. Now I want to jump over here into Kiasma, where we do have her at engraving 80 at the moment uh, and show you this replay. So let's get into this one. Now I'm going to do one more run, try and get another d demonstration of Kiasma. So basically, like I said, she needs it for 12 seconds. So normally two alts is going to get you to that point where you, where you get the buff. Um, it's hard because there's no real clear display of it that I can see. Um, so keep that in mind, but let's just, uh, let's just have a look. So there's one alt. We're just trying not to use any other alts just to get there. Let's take a look. Okay, there's the second alt. And you'll see here, she will start doing it. So now she'll stand here and do pretty much nothing, I think. Yep, see, she's doing nothing. Then she'll fire an orb. Now, it does look like she's firing two orbs. So I don't know what's going on there. So I'm just, I just want to do it another one. So it's like she is doubling down on the orbs, but I don't know whether that is the intended effect and whether the fact that having double orbs just doesn't give as much as doing two extra basic attacks. I don't know what the interaction is. I don't know exactly what's happening. I apologize for that, but I just wanted to show you the difference. You'll see that she never, she doesn't do her two little attacks and then a big orb. She's doing the orb and it looks like it shoots two orbs. Um, so I, I want to just try that again on Kiasma, trying it in a little bit of a different formation, just to see if we can get the same result. So we're just going to go ahead and do this, see if we can get it again. And just to demonstrate that again. So basically, we're only going to use Leonardo to CC, uh, and then we'll use Belinda twice to go ahead and get that, uh, get it happening. So let's go here. Let's paint you guys up. Okay, let's use Belinda. Yep. It's good animation, though. All right, let's go use Belinda again. And like I said in my previous video, her, her ult is not the damage, but it's deceptive and you think it should be. Okay, so let's do another one here. Yep. Okay, let's see. So after this one, she should be standing still doing nothing. Yeah, so she's doing nothing. She's doing nothing. She's doing nothing. She's doing nothing. There's the double orb. She's doing nothing. Double orb. So I, I really don't know if that's how it's intended to work. I, I'm, I'm not too sure. But it looks like she does shift after that point to doing double orbs when she shoots. But they're just not doing... She's, her damage results just aren't as great. So that that's that's all we know so far. I'll keep you guys updated once we, she's, uh, once we know what's going on specifically. But I just wanted to let you guys know in case it is an issue that's going on here. So if we go here, after Belinda has possessed for the Divine Flame for a total of 12 seconds, she will no longer use normal attacks and the duration of her possession will be extended. This is the weird thing. It doesn't actually say that she'll replace them with anything. It just says she'll no longer use her normal attacks. Now, I, I believe it's Blinding Blaze, or is it the Sacred... Uh, no, that's this one. Scorches the enemy with the Divine Retribution, damaging them. I believe this is the big orb thing. I believe that is it. I, I honestly don't really know. But the, 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 the problem for me is in this wording, it sounded funny when I first read it as well. After Belinda has been possessed by the Divine Flame for a total of 12 seconds, she will no longer use normal attacks and the duration of her possession will be extended. I need the expanded description. After Belinda has been possessed by the Divine Flame for a total of 12 seconds, she will no longer use normal attacks and the duration of her possession will be extended by 40%. It doesn't actually say that she replaces it with anything. So this is where I say, I don't know whether this is what they intended and maybe the duration extension is like what's meant to bring the value. But at the moment, because she can ult so fast, she basically never runs out of her possession. So there's no point losing out on anything else to gain that extra possession time. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys tested it? I don't know. Just uh, let me know your thoughts. That's all I've got at the moment. I'll keep you guys posted as I find out more. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to See you in the next one. Cheers.